Now, normally I love to talk shit about Alex Universe 2. You hear it all the time. But today I'm going to highlight some of the aspects of Alex Universe 2 that are actually okay. Um, so, first thing I want to highlight are the expert missions. The expert missions, I actually have no problem with the expert missions. And in some cases, I actually enjoy playing them and beating them out. Another thing I want to highlight is um, not all the music is that bad. I know I like to talk about um, how a lot of these songs they suck ass in X Universe 2, but uh, actually, there are one or two songs here and there that sound alright, so it's not all that bad. Another thing I like about X Universe 2 is um, training with the instructors and the different characters who who has instructors and learning the different moves with them and whatnot and like actually hearing what they have to say and whatnot so that was all right another thing i liked was being able to play as the different races like i really enjoyed playing as the namekians and the margins and overall playing as the different races i thought it was really cool i liked how with the human race um like you could actually power up and get the unleashed power up um, compared to the others I thought that was cool too and I also like the times when you have to go to Guru's house and find the um, find the Dragon Balls and keep them away from the um, from the different enemies and beat up the enemies and save the day I think that's really enjoyable for me it never never really gets old so I like it also, there are a couple of techniques in the game that I do really enjoy using. Um, so, generally speaking, in conclusion, what I gathered from playing Xenoverse 2 is I feel like the game works best uh, as a single player experience. Any experience I have playing this game, playing with other people, is always a negative experience. It's always an uncomfortable experience. And I feel like... Um, because a lot of the moves are so broken and a lot of the characters are so broken on top of that that um, supports the argument even more I, th I feel and expert missions is even more proof of this because expert missions is one uh, as I stated already is one of the most fun things about the game from what I played but I guess there's a little something for everyone. So if you want to play like multiplayer, uh, there are people who actually like playing multiplayer somehow. Like I don't know how that works, but whatever. So I guess there's a little something for everyone. So I guess the game is fine. Now, here's everything I don't like about Xenoverse 2. So one of my first issues with Xenoverse 2 is that the graphics are too inconsistent for me. Like in the Hero Colosseum, you see the figures looking a certain way and they look good. I like how the how the figures look in, in that. But then you switch the actual gameplay and you switch to how it looks normally in the gameplay and it ends up looking really grainy and really like shiny and just not very good at all, honestly. But then you switch to the graphic, the way the graphics look in the cutscenes, in the story mode, and it actually looks incredibly, incredibly phenomenal. But the problem with that is, it's incredibly inconsistent because one minute is looking a certain way, next minute is looking incredible. Like it's like maybe if it looked like at least close. So how it looks like when it's in the full motion video um, cutscenes in the story mode, then I wouldn't have a problem with it uh, a lot of the times. But most of the time, the kind of graphics you're going to be seeing are the graphics from the regular gameplay graphics. And as I've stated, you know, those graphics don't really sit well with me. They look really grainy and shiny and they look like not very good at all honestly the only time they look good is when certain specific animations play out 
that look really, really incredibly good. And that's another reason I like the expert missions more than the parallel quests, is because uh, a lot of times in expert missions, you would find uh, once you beat the the um the main boss characters um to a certain amount, certain cutscene, certain in-game cutscenes will play, and the animations actually look kind of good. And another reason I like the expert missions a lot is because. And it actually gives you a decent challenge a lot of the times. It's the only mode in the game uh, that I know of that actually gave me a genuine decent challenge. When I played the parallel quests and the other a lot of the other single player modes in the game, it never really gave me much of a challenge. And going online was never really satisfying for me because yes, it would give me a challenge. But the challenge would never feel reasonable. Like at least with the expert missions, like there's some reasonability to those challenges. In a lot of cases. Now a lot of people they like Xenovus too because um you could customize their characters really well and the costumes and all that. And a lot of costumes they look okay. But I never really cared about it that much, honestly. Another thing I thought was a huge waste was the World Tournament mode in Xenoverse 2. A lot of people, they love to shit on Ultimate Tenkaichi a lot, but at least in Ultimate Tenkaichi, they were able to get the ten World Tournament mode down right, you know? Another big problem I have with the game is that when I see those incredibly gorgeous full motion video story mode cutscenes, when I unlock the cutscenes, they never feel earned never felt earned because um, the story mode it was way too easy maybe if the story mode like fighting the characters was as challenging as in a lot of as um, it was in the expert missions then I would have enjoyed it a little more but in the story mode for the most part it was very very easy so when I battled through those things and got through it so easy and saw those incredibly gorgeous cutscenes they never ever felt earned as for the hero coliseum i actually love the hero coliseum and in my opinion the hero coliseum in a lot of cases is actually uh, more fun than a lot of stuff um like i would rather be playing in the hero coliseum than playing online online in Xenoverse Sue is so toxic and so incredibly unbearable it's just it's awful I hate it. Another thing I liked doing was um, carrying around the milk um, and delivering it in Content City. I thought that was really fun and enjoyable to do. Other people, they might look at that, they might think it's not really anything special, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. As far as DLC goes, generally speaking, I don't really care about DLC at all. Like, I'd rather purchase one main game and get everything I need to get in that game and unlock things through that game alone then buy that game only get some of the stuff that should have been in the game then I have to pay extra for all this other shit that they just decided to add at the last second as downloadable content like I hate doing that the only exception I had for that was Smash Bros because the DLC reveals all of the time sometimes it would end up feeling really hype and really awesome to see certain characters and you know games make it in so it would always be nice to show my support and whatnot but that's that was really the only exception for me overall I just don't really support DLC like that 